Here in Korea, tensions have grown recently between doctors and the government over the latter's move to expand the country's medical school enrollment quota. Trainee doctors in particular held a debate among themselves, after which they did not mention collective action. Choi Soo-hyung explains. Amidst the debate of expanding the medical school quarter, trainee doctors are treating the situation with caution instead of immediately resorting to collective action such as a nationwide strike. According to the Korean Intern Residents Association Assembly of Delegates on Monday, the association has agreed to transition into an emergency response committee while withholding further details about action plans. This contentious issue stems from the South Korean government's plan to increase the total enrollment quota from the country's medical schools for the upcoming year by 2,000 per year. Speculation in the medical field suggests this move might be in response to the government's firm stance against collective actions. The Ministry of Health and Welfare currently prohibits collective action by doctors and has warned of the possibility of license revocation if they disobey the Health Ministry's immediate return to work order during a future strike. Furthermore, the Ministry has prohibited teaching hospitals from accepting mass resignations from residents. However, some hospitals have indicated that there are still many avenues for collective actions within legal bounds, such as not renewing contracts. Meanwhile, on Tuesday, Park min Su, the second vice minister of the health ministry, mentioned that it is fortunate there have been no collective action thus far and the government acknowledges the doctor's efforts to save people's lives. The government will advance its health care reform to improve working conditions in hospitals, resulting in a sustainable workplace. We sincerely urge residents to make a decision that stand by the patients. However, he added that the ministry will continue to monitor the situation, given the absence of a clear stance on future plans by the association. Last Tuesday, the government announced that it would increase annual mass school enrollments, having been frozen for 19 years from the current quarter of 3,058 to 5,058. Quarter allocations for each individual mass school will be finalized by next month. South Korea currently has just 2.6 doctors per 1,000 people, far below the OECD average of 3.7. Chesu Hyung, Arirang News.